There's no one on this planet that can stop me. There's no one on this planet that can stop me. This video is sponsored by Monster Sugar Free Energy. No, it's not, but seriously, if anyone works for Monster Energy, please hit me up, business email down below. Please sponsor me right. What is good, YouTube voice you here with another video on Black Adam. So we've got a new bunch of TV spots, Instagram reels, TikToks promoting Dwayne The Rock Johnson's next movie. Why? Because it's the middle of September and the movie comes out October the 22nd. So they need to get this movie on the hype train because realistically, no one knows anything about this movie. No one's even interested in the movie outside of the comic book pop culture world. So if you could subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on and comment down below. Is that who we think it is in said scene or is it just a bait and switch scene? which it very well could be. Also check us out on Instagram, at Wushju. That would be much appreciated. If you want to see the beautiful face behind the succulent voice, also check us out on Twitter, Wushju G, because apparently I don't have any clout on Twitter. All right, son, behave. Right, let's get into this video. So, pretty cool TV spot for Black Adam. Multiple TV spots going around. We get a really cool look of what looks like Black Adam killing two members of the Intergang. Is there going to be a dark side connection? I think there should be. And we also get the savage sonic boom, or shall we call it the Hulk slap, or shall we call it the rock slap, or shall we, I don't know what, what to call it. I call it the super rock when he slaps his hands together and the intergang goes absolutely freaking fire. The scene is framed very well, and I do think it will have some picturesque scenes because obviously, as we've said in the previous video on the actual final trailer, I guess you could say we have the Man of Steel esque vibe with the fight scenes. We also get another look at Dr. Fape. Here's Brosnan. That suit looks absolutely fire. Some other quick scenes of Hawkman. To be honest, it's the darkness that makes him do what heroes can't do because he's been through a lot of pain and suffering, which we've seen at the start of the movie, which will be the origin story. But there's a scene right at the end that is setting people's spirits on fire. Who is he talking about? No one on this planet can stop me. War Stew could stop you for sure. Let me get in. Come on. So everyone says this is the Superman scene where Superman, Henry Cavill, played by Henry Cavill, says the following. Good job. I'm not from this planet. So what is interesting is you were getting all these scooper duper scoopers going, well, Superman's in this movie now. I was right. And I'm thinking, hang on. Didn't your boy War Stew say this? Didn't your boy War Drizzy say this? Over two years ago, Henry Cavill Superman was in this movie, but I didn't have a scoop. It's because I don't want to be littled and be a scooper. But surely The Rock team hiring Boss Logic to draw an image of Henry Cavill Superman decimating Dwayne The Rock Black Adam. Surely that literally confirmed that then. The fact this movie is in collaboration with Seven Bucks Production, the fact that Danny Garcia's brother, Hiram Garcia, is directing this movie. The fact that The Rock doesn't go into any movie without having some kind of stake in it. Tells you that whatever he wants to happen will surely happen in this movie. So I'm getting freaking sick and tired of every wannabe Scooby going, yep, this confirms we are right. This confirms everything. This confirms the Snyderverse. This confirms Superman. Henry Cavill's getting seven movies. This confirms that Ben Affleck is getting all his storylines that he's supposed to be getting. This confirms Justice League 2 and 3. This confirms Darkseid Returns. This confirms Zack Snyder's confirmed in them to return. This confirms literally Truly everything. No, it does not confirm that. What it does confirm is The Rock and the people behind this movie obviously want it to be in the Snyderverse continuity to start off with, at least because we have Man of Steel-esque vibes throughout this whole trailer. So the fact that as soon as this popped out last night, got a bunch of messages on Instagram, at Warstew, bunch of messages on Twitter, Warstew G, because apparently I've got no clout over there, but who actually cares for clout on Twitter? No one, unless you've got no clout anywhere else. So it's interesting that everyone's like, yes, this is true, this is true. And a bunch of trusted sources, I guess, say trusted supers, started posting, oh, Superman last night. It's like, guys, we 
We've known for over two years that Superman was going to be in this. Even test screeners have said, there's a face of Superman. We had a face of Superman in Shazam 1, thus far making Henry Cavill still canon. We had a face of Superman in the Peacemaker final scene, thus far making Henry Cavill Superman canon. Unless Superman died in some kind of movie, Superman has not gone anywhere. I don't really understand where you keep saying, Henry Cavill's back. He didn't go anywhere. Sure, he's Geralt of Riviera and Witcher, and they are shooting season four and five back to back. So, outside of cameos, you ain't getting Henry Cavill Superman a long term for a movie to at least 2025, 26. It's going to be a long time. But I do find it fascinating. All the clues have been here for years. Why do you think I've been saying for years that Henry Cavill Superman hasn't actually gone anywhere? And I don't understand how in the last few months when a wannabe little scooper drops think about Henry Cavill giving no context. Of course he's, he is going to be in the Man of Steel suit. That is not a scoop. Seriously, that is not a scoop. But does that mean a Justice League Snyder Cut isn't canon if he doesn't come back in the black suit? Oh, it's going to be an interesting, boring topic point that comes out after this movie comes out. It's like, oh, which suit is he in? Doesn't really make it any less or any more canon. The fact that Shazam 2 trailer uses Zack Snyder just see canon shots kind of tells you that we don't need it. I don't actually understand why we need to keep going back to, oh, are we in the Snyderverse? Aren't we in the Snyderverse? It's the only verse we've ever been in. Even Wonder Woman 984 is canon canon to Zack Snyder just see. Literally every movie coming out. The Flash, canon to Justice League. Aquaman 2, canon to Justice League. Blue Beetle, got to be canon to Justice League. Everything is canon to Snyderverse. The Snyderverse is DCU. I don't understand the complexity of how people are kind of like getting this wrong. Even if you don't like the Snyderverse. Walter Hamada and Cernar, Toby Emmerich. They were trying to change the game with a Flash movie, but still, that movie is canon to the Snyderverse and the DCU. The Snyderverse technically is the DCEU, so hopefully this will be the last time I have to address this subject for you lads and lad the ets. And yeah, of course, Henry Cavill Superman is coming back based on every single credible insider. So if this does not happen in the Black Adam movie, you can't specifically come to me and go, yo, where's Stu? You were wrong. Literally every insider who everyone seems to trust is like, yo, Henry Cavill, ending scene. But oh my God, does he have dialogue now? We don't know, but if he does say, good job or not, from this planet but you do realise realistically it could just be Hawkman because we get a confrontation where Hawkman punches Black Adam in the face I really hope at the end of this movie we get the throne and then Black Adam gets the dodgy ears the pointy ears and then he grows you know the mohawk kind of hairstyle that he's meant to have and that was set up Justice League 2 and it was set up Black Adam 2 it was set up Superman fighting Black Adam but realistically we've been over the plotting multiple times and the way this movie the ends. Black Adam isn't really an anti-hero. He comes to an understanding. Hawkman essentially has restored faith in heroism and he kind of sets up the new Justice League or some variants of that. So I don't understand the context of Superman coming in. Now maybe they can't stop Black Adam, but Black Adam has to team up with Justice Society of America to take out Sabak, who we also get another shot at in this TV spot. So I don't understand how Superman... I'm really looking forward to if Superman's in this movie. Let's hypothetically say he's in it. I'm really looking forward to the actual context of how he turns up. Good job, I'm not from this planet. This whole, there's no one on this planet can, that can stop me, literally could be from halfway into the movie. So don't actually specifically get your hopes up just yet, because it could be a scene from anywhere that they have kind of teased that Superman's in it, but Rock has said on social media that he's listening to the audience anyway, and he always listens to the audience. So if Superman doesn't turn up, that says the test screen information was lies. Every single insider was was lying and Wall Street believed it all. So like always guys, check us out on Instagram at Wall Street to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice. I would love to hit 23,000 followers over there. We much appreciate it. And also follow me on Twitter, Wall Street G, because apparently I've got no clout over there. But what does clout even mean? I mean, I'm following like seven people, 3,855 followers. Sure, for a YouTube channel with over 100,000 subscribers, that's very small, but I don't follow anyone. So I don't really use Twitter that much. I tweet occasionally, but yeah, I need some Twitter clout according to people that don't don't even have any clout themselves. Yo, shots fired. Maybe, I don't know. I just like causing drama. Maybe, sometimes. Like always, guys, check us out on Instagram at Wall Street. Check us out on Twitter, Wall Street G, because I've got no clout. And more importantly, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. I will get you another video, guys, very soon. Catch you later. Oops.